Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about some new news that was just released. It was just confirmed that The Flash star, obviously from the past, from Season 1, Rick Cosnett is coming back to the series in Season 8, so we're going to break all the news down, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I'm reading off of a TV line article that is titled The Flash Vet Rick Cosnett Confirmed to Return, Get the Latest Details, and if you scroll down, and I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you guys can read it if you want to check afterwards, but basically I'm going to be reading off this article and it starts like this. The Flash's Barry Allen will get some sort of blast from his and wife Iris's past in the form of Rick Cosnett's Eddie Thorne. Cosnet late on Wednesday shared on Instagram a photo of himself with the announcement special announcement coming tomorrow and he also tagged the flash in it and and TV line was able to deduce that Cosnet is in Vancouver where the flash is about to wrap production on the final installment of the five episode Armageddon team up crossover event that will open season eight and then they posted an update on their article that said TV Line can now double secret officially confirm that Cosnick will be back for a singular flashback episode that will air after the season opening Armageddon event, meaning all that groovy hair has gone goodbye and that's obviously a reference to his photo that he posted on Instagram. And so yeah, fan speculation over the years has been talking about him coming as Cobalt Blue and I have some theories about this. So what do you guys think about all of this with him returning? We've been presuming for a while he was going to come back. So as I just mentioned, Cobalt Blue, that has been speculated for a while that when Rick Cosnett returns at some point, he's going to show up as a season villain. And it's been said that the villain later in the season, post the Armageddon event, is going to be someone very personal for Iris and Barry specifically. And it will put a kind of strain on their marriage and the best guess we have right now is in fact Rick Cosnett's Eddie Thorne if he were to return and potentially be Cobalt Blue and so with him confirmed to actually being in Vancouver and shooting an episode it obviously led people to believe like oh he's gonna be Cobalt Blue however it's confirmed and specifically stated in the TV line article that Cosnet will be back for a singular flashback episode after the Armageddon event. So I don't know if it's going to be a continuation of the crossover event or is it going to be something completely different. But nevertheless, them confirming it's a singular flashback episode obviously goes against the Cobalt Blue theories because if it's a flashback episode, it could involve time travel. I would say time travel is a good possibility here because I don't think they're just going to like flash back to certain events without actually going there. I mean, it's the Flash after all, they do time travel, they're doing time travel in the Armageddon crossover event, it's been confirmed. And so I would presume maybe this is like an alternate timeline where, you know, Eddie Thorne is fine and potentially Barry changes the timeline into something different that can maybe spawn, say, Cobalt Blue as the season villain. I think that is a definite possibility, especially with this being back in time. I would say you're going to see like Barry going back, I don't know if someone else is going to go back with him, but he will interact with Eddie in the past and I think something will change and it could lead to Cobalt Blue as I just mentioned. So do you think that's a possibility or do you think it is a singular flashback episode that has nothing to do with time travel, has nothing to do with changing timelines, changing or bringing back Eddie Thorne for anything more? I don't know, but that's my guess as of right now. Obviously this isn't the first time that Rick Cosnett's Eddie Thorne has returned to the show. We had a couple of episodes where he's come back, there was the flashback episode where he reprised his role, also in season 3 into the Speed Force I believe was the last time where Eddie was actually back and he was in the Speed Force as a kind of avatar of Eddie and you know basically the speaking and like the persona of the Speed Force. and so. It's great to see him back, and I'm definitely really interested about how this is all going to go down. And it's amazing to see him up in Vancouver, and for like a day it was speculated, is he filming on The Flash? Obviously The Flash films in Vancouver, and he filmed there for many years as Eddie, or you know, for one year, and then, you know, he came back a couple of times, that's what I meant. But, 
yeah, it's now officially confirmed and obviously speculation is going to go wild around this and specifically Cobalt Blue or is it just going to be like a normal version of Eddie? Anyway, we'll discuss this more in the next couple of videos. I'm sure we're going to get around to it because we're going to get some set photos and everything along the lines of that. And also along with this, Tony Karan, who is playing Despero in the Flash crossover, just officially wrapped filming as Despero. So that means, yes, he is a contained villain for those first five episodes of season eight. Obviously, we're going to be getting a trailer at DC Fandom this Saturday, so don't go anywhere in regards to that because that is literally tomorrow. So we're obviously going to have a trailer breakdown of the trailer and, you know, we'll have specific videos about what they tease at the panels. So there is a lot of stuff that is going to be going down in regards to The Flash, so now is a great time to not go anywhere. But in the meantime, yes, The Flash crossover Armageddon has wrapped and... Obviously we've got little pieces of information here and there about who's showing up. But for instance, recently we've seen Mia Smoke, we've seen Black Lightning, we've seen the two different versions of the Atom. We know that Grant is suiting up in a reverse Flash costume. Lots of speculation in regards to that if he is, you know, a younger version of Eobard Thorn who has taken Barry's DNA and turned himself into Barry. You can go check out my recent videos for my theories in regards to that. Also, we know that a lot of time travel is going to be in the midst of the crossover because we've seen some set photos and basically at a couple of points there was like newspapers that said 2014 that's the theory in regards to reverse flash taking Barry's DNA because Barry was in a coma back then and then in regards to everything else we know that Despero is going to have a human form that will look like the actor Tony and he will also have a huge CGI version of himself I guess you could relate this to blood work and how he has like the two sides of him so I'm very interested to see how time travel -y the crossover is, is it more to do with this kind of alien invasion of Despero, or is it more to do with like Reverse Flash and Damien Dark and everything that's going on in regards to that. It seems like a lot of stuff is going down, obviously it's five episodes so it is a big arc and there is going to be a lot to dig into and I think you guys are going to be very excited and pleased with what happens. Okay, and so from Pursuit23 on Twitter we got news along with Rick Cosnett being back in Vancouver to film The Flash, that John Wesley Shipp is back in Vancouver once again to film some more Flash. And this is big because this guy has been around and around. I mean, he shot Stargirl recently. We know that he was coming back for this crossover. I presume he's in at least one to two episodes here. Also, he was at the end of last season as Jay Garrick. And he is a big character right now, especially if they're going to continue the Bart Allen storyline later in the season, I presume he's going to come back again. So I'm really loving the amount of attention that Jay Garrick, the original Flash, is getting because in the past he's been more of a side character, but now it seems like he's actually going to be a big presence season to season, especially this season after what happened last season. And I think he's always going to have a big part to play when it comes to the Flash family because, you know, they're always stronger together when they fight together. So, yeah, so much stuff going on in regards to The Flash. As I said, tomorrow's DC Fandom. We're going to have panels for all the different Arrowverse shows. Supergirl is going to have a final panel. You're going to get trailers for The Flash. Hopefully a trailer for Superman Lois. Season 2, that would be awesome. Obviously, they're going to give more teasers in regards to what's happening in the season, maybe some gold boot teaser because we saw that and that was actually my video two days ago, if you missed that go check it out because we talked about Barry's golden boots that he finally had, that was teased last DC fandom and now it's finally coming to fruition and so I presume they're going to be giving some big teasers in regards to the Armageddon crossover and what's going to be happening afterwards and who is going to be the main villain, could it be Cobalt Blue and could this episode be setting up like an alternate version of Eddie Thorne who becomes Cobalt Blue because of what Barry does back in the past. So there are just a couple of theories and it's very exciting in regards to the news. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out if you do that. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new to not miss any videos. Also, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.